Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wine version 7.3 on Ubuntu 21.10. Uh, before we continue, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. So you're probably wondering why Ubuntu version 21, uh, 2110. Uh, that's because it is the currently most up-to-date version of Wine. Well, Ubuntu even. But Wine is still not up-to-date on Ubuntu. And now let me show you this. I can do uh, Wine, hyphen hyphen version. And it's going to say, well, this isn't found, but here's something you could do to get it. Now, as I know, and as you may, may or may not know, Wine version 7 is not available. Uh, Wine set version 7.3 is available on other variations, such as Manjaro and anything Arch-based. But Wine version 7 is still not available on anything Ubuntu-based. So we have to install it ourselves. Now, that's pretty simple. So first off, let's just do some quick zoom in. Right. So let's begin with the install of Wine. So to do that, we need to enable the 32-bit architecture for Ubuntu. To do that, we do sudo uh, dp, dpkg hyphen hyphen add architecture i386 and that will enable th the use of 32-bit software. And now, next thing we need to do is get the wine key the uh, security key from the wine service now this is just to confirm with your operating system pardon me that whenever you down download an update and there's any updates to wine it's getting the correct one it's just the public key saying hey look this is what you say this is you're downloading it correctly that's coming from the correct source so to get that key we need to do w get uh, space hyphen nc https colon dl.wine hq.org slash wine hyphen build slash wine key wine hq dot key now as you can see here this is communicating up with the wine server it's just saying hey look do you have this it does we've got the key it's been downloaded now to add the application uh, key uh, the PGP key stands for pretty good protection. Found that out a couple, found that out a few years ago. I still like that. I haven't forgot what it meant since. It's just it, some of that sticks. But now we've got the security key. We need to add said security, said security key. Now to do this, we need to do sudo apt key add wine hq dot key. Now it's added the key as corrected. Uh, as intended now as we can see with ubuntu 21.10 the apt key is depreciated but it'll still add it anyway this is just saying hey look you should not do this this way in the future because it might not be working at some point but that's fine it works for now which is the main thing now the next step and as we can see here uh, it said okay which means the key has been successfully added now the next step we need to do is we need to add the repository for Ubuntu. Now, to do this, we need to do sudo apt, or correction, add hyphen apt hyphen repository repository have a fucking spell repository, so hyphen, well, apostrophe deb. Now, if you don't stick the apostrophe here, it's not going to download it. It's not going to add the correct repository. So you need, 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 need to add the apostrophe. Otherwise, it's not going to work at all. So deb https colon forward slash forward slash dl dot yhq dot org slash wine hyphen builds slash vocal space main. And then apostrophe again. What this is going to do, it's going to add the repository. As we can see here, it's just saying, hey, look, can I please get this? I'm going to go, yes, continue. It's adding all the entries that needs to. So then get it and make it available for updating 
from uh, pulling updates from in the future. Now, as we can see here, it did have an issue uh, c uh, connecting to or getting the uh, builds from WineHQ. Sometimes that does happen. Repository that is missing the focal release. Updating from a repository can't be done securely, therefore disabled by default. So sometimes this does happen. Because this is just saying, hey, look, uh, I can't exactly guarantee this. Which does happen when it, whenever it comes to doing it. So what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is just go double check to make sure this is all working fine. As it turns out, I was wrong. Uh, I needed to put impish main. Impish main. As it turns out, I I also forgot the apostrophe there, which is not ideal. So now that we've added this back in, uh, we will continue with the install process. Now, this is what belongs to Ubuntu. Well, this is the Ubuntu 21.10 variation. Uh, as we can see here, this is still saying it does not have it. So let's try this again, just to be 100% sure. Now this does happen when installing, uh, getting the repository added through Wine. It happens. So I'm just going through the process. So you can see, see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So sudo add apt repos repository. Repository. Help if I could spell deb bps slash dl dot wine hq dot org slash wine hyphen build slash ubuntu. Aha, that's where I went wrong. Now, before we pr before we proceed onwards, when I was typing this before, I wasn't putting the Ubuntu part here, so it was one hyphen builds. Then, if then I forgot the Ubuntu. Now, I should know better, seeing as I've made an install script for this in the past. But we all make mistakes. So once we've corrected the mistake and put in the necessary apostrophe in the correct place, hit enter. This is going to go, okay, can I please have the repository needed? And that's what it's going to do. It's got all the packages, everything's, everything should be working fine. Uh, I don't know what it's trying to look for here. This is an issue with the, well, with Wine. With the Wine HQ server, so there's not really much we can do about that. So now that we've added the repository, uh, we need to update package back as this, we can do that with sudo apt update, just quick and simple. Now before I started this video I made sure that Ubuntu was correct and up to date before I started so we wouldn't be stuck forever. Uh, as it turns out, everything is fine, uh, just to confirm everything is working fine. Get remove hyphen hyphen auto remove wine hq stable. Right, so we want to go back to impage main, confirm it's there one more time. Found existing adding disabled deb src. Now, as it turns out. It's my error here. Notice, notice error. Does not have a release file. Uh, I find that to be incorrect, seeing as I've just checked it myself. So that is most certainly incorrect, because I'm looking at it now, and there is distributions. We want impish. Well, there is, a, there is a release file that currently exists, so I don't know what's going on there. But that's fine. So once we've got to this point here, we need to actually install Wine. So to do that, sudo apt 
install, hyphen hyphen install recommends YHQ stable. Now just to confirm this is exactly what it should be. We're gonna grab this back. Yep, that's it, that is correct. So now we want these now we're getting the stable version. And we're gonna say yes, I want to download all this. Whilst we wait for that to download, we are going to go get a bit of software to confirm that it is working. So to do that, we will go grab a couple of pieces of software whilst we wait. So I just need to wait for Firefox to wake up because I've not actually used Firefox since installing this virtual machine. I am currently doing this on a virtual machine, but this will work on any sort of Ubuntu 21.10 install that you may or may not have running. In my case, it's it's a virtual machine. In your case, it might be an actual computer with, that is properly installed on the hard drive, but this is just a virtual machine, so it will be a bit different. Well, there will be no difference at all. Anyway, so what we want to do is, so let's go get proper GX, and then let's go get Steam. Now, I know Steam, Steam is available natively, but we're gonna get the Steam download and install the Windows version of Steam. You're probably wondering why Opera GX, Nick, because I use that as my daily driver for browsers, and I like the RAM and CPU limits I can impose. I just bring it to a dead stop and everything works so much better. Right, so we're going to go, I want the Windows variation. Uh, I want to save this. And then I'd like to then download Opera GX for Windows. <laughs> Opera, thank you. And I'd like to save this file as well. And then we're just going to give this a quick close. Yes, close these tabs. So as we're now part way through, we just need to wait for Ubuntu to finish off uh, preparing packages and installing them. So this is, well, this will very much depend on the hardware you're running on. As we can see, it's just blown through a good 40, 50% there, and it's come down to the last 3%. And now we are complete. So just to check this, we will do wine hyphen hyphen version. We have wine 7.0 installed which is good. So now we're gonna have a quick test, check of our software. We're gonna go open files, go to the downloads. And as we can see here, we have two. We have Opera GX, which we're gonna start with. Now we're gonna do open with other application and wine Windows program loader. You need to do that for the first time you run a AXE uh, on Ubuntu because it's not actually said, hey, look, I know what this needs to run with. Once you've done it the first time, any other EXE should pick up the fact it needs to run with the Wine Programs Loader and you'll be off to the races. Now, the first time you run Wine as well, it will bring up the Wine Mono Installer. That, that's just part of the course. It's just to make sure everything's working fine with Wine. And Wine will, should work from there just fine. So now we just need to wait for the configuration to be updated. Again, it's, it's seconds. It's fine. So, whilst we give this a quick wait, we will just give this a quick run. So, as you can see here, I'm currently using uh, two, two of my uh, cores available. Install path is invalid. Now, this happens every time, so it's fine. So, we're just going to do documents and install. As we can see here, uh, as we can see here, the fonts do look a bit funky in some places. That is just down to the, or down to, why not having the necessary fonts available for it. But that's no bother. We now just need to wait for it to finish installing. Anyway, as we can see with the current virtual machine, I am using two of my cores. I have four gigs of RAM. Well, I have four gigabytes of RAM assigned. As we can see here, it's not quite four gigabytes of RAM, but. It's fine, as we can see, it's working perfectly, okay. 
We're also using the desktop environment 940.5 and window manager Mutter. So this is what does all of this. Now, oh, hello. It's not responding, so we'll just force quit it. Sometimes this happens, but we'll just run the Steam setup because that's a good testing method because Steam runs perfectly or well, Steam installs perfectly fine every single time I have found with no issues at all. This here, loading bar, gives me Windows XP uh, vibes because I remember this is the sort of loading bar you'd see in Windows XP. It looks old, but it works just as fine and it's very, it's very nice to look at. Right now we just need to wait for Steam to do Steam things. And then while, whilst we wait, Oops, I didn't actually have speed test installed. I thought I did. And then huzzah, we have Steam. Now you'll notice this isn't the sort of font you would get on Windows. But that's just uh, Ubuntu. Well, it's just Steam saying, hey, look, can I have a font that's as close to this? And Wine's going, okay, here you go. So as we can see, as we can see Steam works perfectly fine. I'm not going to log in because... Once I finish reporting this, I'm just going to delete the virtual machine. And we'll just do this. Anyway, this has been how to install Wine 7.0 on Ubuntu 21.10. Uh, I hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'd like to thank my patrons, Raining Hazma and Ashley, for being subscribed over at Patreon. Where if you, sub if you subscribe for a dollar a month, you will get early access to videos. As well as my GitHub, if you go, if you choose to subscribe to me over to there, you'll get shouted out, and you'll also get added to any release, well, any releases that I make for various software. At the current moment in time, I'm working on a Minecraft data pack. So, if you go su go support me over there, you will then get added to the data pack where I releases file. I say, hey, look, here's a shout out. Anyway, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. I hope you have a good rest of your day and goodbye.